Hey there! It is time to do a little shipping, and I have some interesting stuff that's sold. I'll tell you what it's sold for, and uh, you can watch me ship it. So let's go! quite as easy thing, but not too bad. So uh, this is just a little vintage mesh purse. You can see it's not a Whiting and Davis. Those are the expensive ones. So this one actually sold for 15 bucks. But the thing is, this is so easy to ship. So first thing I'm going to do is tuck this handle down into the purse. So it doesn't get anything bad happening to it. Okay, so that's in there. And I'm going to put some bubble wrap on this. Now, yeah, this sold for $15. I believe this came in on a bunch of stuff that I bought at an auction a few months ago. I would not have purposely picked this up to resell unless it was a Whiting and Davis. Those are the ones that are worth some money. And then this is just going to go in a padded envelope. It is going to go first class. So I love when shipping is this easy, except when a hair gets caught. There we go. <laughs> All right. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I'm getting used to some new glasses. They're they're bifocal progressives. Yes, I have slipped into the realm of bifocal needs now. But um, they're interesting. I'm, I'm getting used to it. I'm, it's like changing my habits of looking over my glasses versus uh, making my eyes go to the bottom portion of the glasses. So I think they're going to be okay. All right, next is this little vintage pen holder. Uh, it is an onyx, and I'm not even sure where I picked these up. I've had them for quite some time, and I got an offer of $12. I took it. I took it. And In fact, right now, I have put a bunch of stuff in my eBay store down to 50% off because I'm really clearing the stuff that's been there a while so we can up our game. All right, so that's wrapped in some bubble wrap, and I will put this in a box because it's a little, it's a little vulnerable in that it is a stone that can get chipped. So I am going to use one of these little six by four by fours. The thing is, if I use this box, if it ends up being over a pound, I can still ship it in a padded flat rate. This box will fit inside a padded flat rate, so that works out really good. But see, this is a this is a perfect fit. Let me add a couple peanuts. Okay, got some, oh, I have some that came along for the ride here. Okay, so now we're going to press that down and seal it. Boy, these peanuts just want to jump out today. Look at, there's another wayward, wayward peanut. They're supposed to be anti-static, these pink ones. Not always so. I do go all the way around the box, tape the tape. That's the key with this eBay tape. This eBay tape's really thin, uh, so you want to give it as much possibility to get there intact. Okay, there we go. Two down now, the fun one. Or maybe not so fun one. <laughs> So this is an actual Western Electric uh, telephone. I almost said lamp. Telephone. Um, this piece is pretty heavy. Can you see this? Yes. And uh, I have this listed for $150. I purchased this at an auction for $15. 
and here you can see it's got some age to it by that plug right there although they are making replicas of these old plugs um, so it gets tricky but the replicas the ones that are modern versions will be polarized this is not polarized making it the genuine old thing okay so I'm first going to wrap this cord up because actually that plug is an important piece and it could get damaged. So I'm going to make sure that's protected and bubble wrapped all on its own. Oh, I thought I had a piece ready and I don't. Stay. Okay, so let me try that again. So I'm wrapping this separately because I don't want anything to happen to the actual little plug itself. That's a collectible portion of this. Okay, so we've got that. And I'm also going to take off, whenever shipping a lamp, you want to take off what's known as the harp, which is this piece. And now they all sort of come off differently. Oh, this one looks like it has been on here for quite some time. So this could be a challenge. Let's see if it'll lift out. Ah, may not be as easy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, da, da, da. That's going to cause a problem. So I think what I have to do is unscrew this piece. I don't know, this might not work well. Let me see. Because this has wires attached, so I have to be careful I'm not pulling too hard. This is where all the wiring is. Okay, but that is what is going to make our harp portion come down. <laughs> See, and this is your cord, so this is attached to the bottom. But what I have to do is get this to where this isn't an extra large package. So, I will just let the buyer know that... They are just going to have to put this all back together. They will understand. But I'm going to wrap that separately so it's not banging against the other piece. Now, normally what you would do with a lamp is just pull off. Let's see, I have another one over here. I think I know that one's attached to. I've never seen these harps that don't come off. Normally, the harp part just comes off, and then you can wrap that separately, and it takes away a lot of the uh, height of your item so you don't run into trouble with oversized. This item is going to go FedEx home because it's still going to be bigger than 12 by 12 by 12. I believe the estimate on the shipping came up to like $23, something like that. Okay, so that's now on there. So now I'm going to go around this with small bubble first snug that in there really good. That was a little hand piece. So I'm going to tear this part off here because then we're going to go the other way to make sure that doesn't happen again. Get in there. Just get in there. And I think what we'll do is we'll lay it down. That'll make it a little easier to roll. And tuck everything in where we want it to be. There we go. And then I'm also going to go over this with the big bubble. 
Now I never use this big bubble all by itself. It's always an outer protection for once I've wrapped with the little bubble because this big bubble has gaps and it also pops a lot easier. So it is just an outer protection for a larger piece like this. Dum, dum. Okay. Tapey, tapey. I also like that the large bubble kind of gives you these little like corners and things that hold off. having to use more peanuts or whatever packing material you choose to use. All right, I feel really good about that now. It's very protected. It's all put together. Now I have a box that I have picked out. It's a sturdy box. It's an 18 by 14 by 10. So it's not quite within that not oversized uh, size range, but it's not too big for FedEx to be reasonable. So let me go get some peanuts. Oh, and guess what I finally got? I ordered myself a scoop. So we start with a nice layer of peanuts on the bottom. Make sure it's even. And I'm going to put this now it's not going to go this way. It could, I could squeeze it in this way, but that makes those ends vulnerable. Corners are pretty sturdy on a box. So I am putting a kitty corner and kind of nestling it down into the peanuts. I hope you could hear that with all the noise I was making nestling it down. I nestle it down in the peanuts again so that those peanuts don't shift underneath it. And then I finish filling it up with peanuts. And I overload the box because I'm going to squeeze them all down into the little nooks and crannies and I may end up actually even having to add more. And I know peanuts are messy. I know some of you really hate peanuts, but they do add the most impact protection of these breakable items. A little spray bottle out here just to wet things down a little so they don't stick to me. Stop it! <laughs> okay, we are going to add. Okay. I want to have to squish down the lids on this. All right. very happy with this package. Except for those peanuts that keep wanting to pop out. Yes, like I said, on a dry, clingy day, they can be a pain in the butt. It truly is a dry heat. For those that don't know, I have tortoises and I have humidity gauges around them so I know exactly how little humidity is in our air. We are like usually at less than 10 percent. Okay. Again because this is flimsy eBay tape I am going to use a lot of tape. I know I get a lot of comments, a lot of comments criticizing me for how much tape I use. And I'm telling you, better safe than sorry. Oh, I did not want that to come off yet. 
Darn it. Ah, sometimes the tape gun is too efficient. All right, so there we go. Now I am gonna go around each edge, which you can't quite see, I'm off the screen, but I have to hang off the edge of the table to do this. Flip it around. This is what I just did. I'm going to do the other end. All right, voila. This is a secure package. Even though it's got the original tape on the bottom, I've now gone all the way around. That's quite secure. I can add just a little bit more if I'm questioning it at all. said the tape. The tape is relatively cheap compared to having a package pop open during shipping and not getting there and then you don't get the item back and the customer doesn't get it and that's just like really ugly. Um, this was a hundred and twenty dollar purchase so take the care and get your stuff there. Ooh, I just made a rhyme. All right, shipping is complete. I'm getting back into the air conditioning. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I upload a new video every single day. See you on the next one.